So today I want to talk to you about vulnerability because being vulnerable or if you like being sensitive that is really closely connected with your intuition. So what do I mean by that? So when we are vulnerable or when we have a sensitive system it means that the world or the things around us can have an impact on us by being able to affect us or having an impact on us. That is actually how we uh, become then aware of what is going on. This is why one of the old words for uh, an intuitive is, you know, they were called sensitives because their system was sensitive enough that they were impacted by lesser stimuli. Like, so things that other people perhaps weren't you know, didn't feel vulnerable around, they, they were vulnerable too. Now that, as I said, is really useful because it helps us, that's where our awareness comes from. It's exactly the same thing as, you know, what is actually going on in your bathroom scales or in a thermometer. Because when we step on the bathroom scales or when we use the thermometer under our tongue or uh, <laughs> if it's a cooking thermometer in the turkey, well, that system has to be impacted by what it is trying to measure. So the bathroom scales have to be changed, you know, deformed. The surface has to be um, affected by your weight because that is how it measures how much you know, you're, you're weighing today. The thermometer... You know, where, you know, the old mercury th thermometers, you could, you could see the impact on it because the, the increased temperature made the mercury expand and that is what enabled us to know what that temperature is. You know, more uh, modern systems are actually more sensitive. They're more vulnerable, but they're actually used you know, other ways to, to, to register that impact. So, the more that we actually have a vulnerable or sensitive system, the more that we are able to be aware of what's going around, you know, in the world and, and around us. So with intuition, because our system is so sensitive, we can become aware of more and more subtle things. And that's where a lot of our intuition comes from. Now, the thing about that is, of course, if we have a very sensitive or vulnerable system, but our system is fragile, then, well, having our intuition being that sensitive is going to be really stressful. Let me explain. So when you have actually experienced this impact, have you've experienced this uh, shift that has happened to you because of what's going on in the world around you. Well, just like the, the bathroom scales or the thermometer, you need to be able to recover from that impact. So if the bathroom scales don't come, don't recover, you know, don't the spring or whatever it is doesn't, you know, come back. If the thermometer, if the, mer the mercury in the old thermometers doesn't come back to the baseline or the room temperature, then, it, well, you know, we know it's broken. We can't use it anymore because it's it can't. It's registered that one impact, but it hasn't recovered. So it's not going to be able to register anything after that. In a way, that's what stress is. Stress is we've been impacted by something, and we haven't then been able to recover from it. That is what having a fragile system is. So intuition is at its most brilliant when we have that vulnerable system, when we have that sensitivity, but we're able to recover from it. So we have a vulnerable or sensitive system, but at the same time, we have a robust system. So we can be impacted, but then we can bring ourselves back to center. So a lot of working with our intuition, a lot of learning to develop our brilliance, is finding ways that we can bring ourselves back to centre. So meditation helps with that. You know, focusing on your breathing helps with that. Uh, the what what I teach, you know, both in both in my book, uh, there's a link down below to that. Um, 
and also you know, class, you know teach in training and and is actually learning to tune into your own resonance into your own vibration so that you can retune yourself to that because the more that we can just come back to our own resonance to our own center then well we can let go of that stress and so we've we've become aware of something we've learned something but it, we haven't we don't carry that impact forward so that is the key to true power and that is the key to really finding and being able to express your own brilliance is being able to allow the world to impact you by uh, having that vulnerable sensitive system but at the same time having a robust system a system that enables you to come back to well to yourself to who you truly are so there you are there's a major key to choosing to be brilliant